Monaco were one of the few Ligue 1 teams to have already started their new season with Champions League qualifiers against Fenerbahce. With an imminent playoff against Villarreal in midweek for a place amongst Europe's elite, Leonardo Hardem's men first had to deal with a Guingamp side who they beat 3-2 last time around. The Principality side were the first to get a significant chance. Nabil Dira pulling back the ball across the goal, but Guido Carrillo failing to score a seemingly open goal. It was then Gargan's turn to attack, making good use of long balls forwards. Jimmy Briand then seemed to cross in a hopeful ball, but the striker's pass fell to Mustafa Jallo, who controlled well and unleashed a ferocious strike right into the top corner, scoring the first goal of the 2016-2017 Ligue 1 season. And that one is surely a contender for the goal of the season. Jallo hitting the ball on the half volley, Daniel Subasic given absolutely no chance to save and Diallo certainly not over-celebrating. The visitors storm forwards once again through Marcus Coco. He then teed up Luca Dor, whose cross at the back post was easily headed in by Sloan Priva, giving Guingamp a two-goal advantage. New signing Dor, lofting the ball beautifully to the back post, and Priva really couldn't miss that one. There was even more bad news for Monaco when young prodigy Kylian Mbappe had to go off injured and was replaced by Bernardo Silva. The score remained 2-0 as the teams went into the dressing room, Guingamp with a surprise lead. After the interval, Monaco started speeding things up a bit. Newcomer Bernardo Silva obtaining Monaco's first chance of the match, but his shot was comfortably saved by Carl Johan Johnson. The comeback from Monaco definitely started once Ludovic Blas brought down Silva in the penalty area. The 18-year-old clipping the Portuguese forward's leg and the referee awarding a clear penalty. Fabinho stepped up and sent Johnson the wrong way, halving Monaco's deficit with 20 minutes left to play. Fantastic penalty by Fabinho, no chance for the keeper. Monaco then completed their comeback with only five minutes left to play. Dira received the ball in the box after poor defending from Gargan and then pulled it back to Silva, who found the net via a deflection. Dira there with an absolutely beautiful touch and then Silva really couldn't miss. The match finished 2-0, Monaco clinching a draw in the final minutes thanks to the very influential Silva.